Hey everybody, how are you doing? This is Rob of Rule of Two Review. Welcome back to the channel, and today we've got a little bit of a pseudo update or some kind of news story about Metroid Prime, the Metroid Prime trilogy, how it relates to Metroid Prime 4, Nintendo's potential plans with the Metroid Prime re-release, all sorts of very interesting stuff, and this is definitely in rumor territory coming from some people who definitely have been in the know in the past, one of them who I do know. And it's a fun thing to contemplate. Maybe Metroid Prime stuff is finally coming to us soon. So I want to talk about that. So a conversation that many of us have been having for literal years has to do with the Metroid Prime trilogy, the original three Prime games from the GameCube and the Wii, getting some kind of re-release on the Nintendo Switch in an era where ports from the Wii U and other consoles has been so common and so successful on the Nintendo Switch. Many of us thought that bringing over the Prime Trilogy games made a ton of sense, especially after Metroid Prime 4 was revealed back in 2017. Now, of course, since then, both Metroid Prime 4 and any re-release of the prior Prime games has yet to happen, which has had a lot of us wondering about what's going on. Plenty of discussions and leaks and rumors and stuff getting out there, both publicly and behind the scenes, as I mention every time we talk about this, have been discussed over the years. So there has been reason from some folks who claim to know that Nintendo does have a plan to re-release some of these old Prime games, probably in a way to sort of build hype and momentum for Metroid Prime 4. It's very exciting. Most of us would love to see this happen. It has continually not happened. And now we have news stories coming from folks like Emily Rogers, Jeff Grubb, Nate from Direct Feed Games, otherwise known as Nate the Hate, couple of quotes we're gonna read. That seems to state that there could be a couple of options happening with Metroid Prime very soon. Before we jump any deeper into the Metroid Prime topic, I like to always remind you guys that I am always trying to grow the channel here on Rule of Two Review. I upload every single week. I cover all things Nintendo. I cover everything about Metroid possible, and I discuss all things gaming. So as you watch this video, if you seem to like what I'm doing and what you hear, then I hope you will consider subscribing to the channel. So the real core thing that we're discussing today are some quotes from Emily Rogers, who many Nintendo fans or people kind of in the gaming sphere would know of. She recently had a statement earlier in this week claiming that Metroid Prime 1 was going to get a full-on remake on the Switch as opposed to what most of us had been expecting, which would be a straight-up HD remaster of the original Prime Trilogy, all three games. So basically saying, we're not going to get all three games just ported to HD, we're going to get only the original game, but it's going to be completely remade. Which does have a different kind of excitement compared to just a, an HD remaster of the Prime Trilogy. Obviously, I think both would be very cool and very exciting. I know those games like the back of my hand, so there's no real wrong answer to me. But I think it's interesting that she's bringing up a very different concept than what other people have talked about by remaking only the original game. Now, there's a VGC article that references Emily Rogers' tweets, and I'm going to tell you, I actually tried to look at them and find them from earlier in this week, and I couldn't find them. So I don't know if she deleted them or if I'm missing something completely obvious or what's going on. So I'm just going to refer to VGC's article where they actually reference these tweets, and we'll go from there. So here's what they say. Emily Rogers, an industry insider with a long track record of accurate Nintendo information, stated on Twitter Wednesday, quote, Last I heard, Nintendo was busy working on a Metroid Prime 1 to celebrate the game's 20th anniversary in 2022. I'm not sure if we're getting a trilogy or just a re-release of the first game. I'm leaning towards the latter, but I hope we get the former. Now beyond that, Nate from Direct Feed Games, also known as Nate the Hate, he had this to say. He said, to my understanding, the information framed here is correct. Metroid Prime 1 is a fairly ambitious effort. Metroid Prime 2 and 3 may be more in line with a remaster, perhaps comparable to Twilight Princess or Skyward Sword HD. Current plans are individual releases and not a packaged trilogy for Switch. And now for a third tasty option, we go back to the VGC article where they reference this from Jeff Grubb. They say VentureBeat journalist Jeff Grubb said in July that the Metroid Prime Trilogy remaster for Nintendo Switch has already finished development and is awaiting release. Grubb said that Nintendo was holding off the release and announcement partly due to restricted QA resources during the pandemic and possibly to align it more closely with the release of Metroid Prime 4. So really, we're looking at three similar but also very distinct ideas 
about what some people who have inside information think might be happening with any kind of re-release of the prior Metroid Prime games, which is both really exciting and also kind of frustrating. You know, I know Nate pretty well. I sort of know Emily Rogers, and I actually don't know Jeff Grubb at all. We are in the same circles, but we don't know each other. So, tough to say there, but I, I truly see three distinct different concepts. Emily states it as something fairly straightforward, just a re-release of Metroid Prime 1. They're not even working on 2 and 3. Nate kind of reframes it and says they are doing Metroid Prime 1 like she says. However, it's more than just a re-release, it's something ambitious like a full remake. But he then goes on to, says, to say that he does think 2 and 3 are getting some form of HD, smaller kind of ambitious effort released on the Switch as well, but then they go back to earlier quotes this year from Jeff Grubb, echoing many statements people have been saying for years that they are just making a regular HD Prime trilogy, and that it's meant to release to hype up Metroid Prime 4, and so they're delaying it until it's closer to the release of Metroid Prime 4. So that's a lot of stuff to pick apart. Those are three different options and concepts to kind of choose what makes the most sense or what maybe you want the most. And ironically, around a year and a half or so ago, I actually made a video discussion talking about the idea of what if instead of a Prime Trilogy HD port, they were instead going to do something like remake the original Metroid Prime game. Fully remake that game. Now, I said that as a fan speculating. That wasn't based on any information. The only thing I will tell you guys is I have heard what a lot of people have heard for a long time that more than likely just an HD port of the Prime Trilogy is what's been planned for a long time. Nothing about a full remake of the original game or anything. What I've kind of heard is in line with what most of us have talked about for years, and also falls in line with what Jeff Grubb is saying, that they're probably just doing an HD port of the trilogy. To me, that's fine. You sell that thing for 60 bucks, you make a killer, kick-ass, you know, retail package of that game. I own each of those original games in several different copies. I will buy them again on the Switch, my favorite games of all time. So I love that idea. However, what I will say, with next year, 2022, being the 20th anniversary of Metroid Prime 1 on the GameCube, there is something pretty cool and exciting to the idea of remaking, not remastering in HD, but straight up remaking the original Metroid Prime, my personal number one favorite game of all time. If they did something to the effect of the way they remade like Resident Evil's 2 and 3, or even like Final Fantasy VII, without rechanging the story, but as far as the visuals and all that stuff, I think that could be really fantastic, and honestly, because it's my favorite game of all time, I might even prefer that to a full HD port of the Prime Trilogy. I think if we were looking at something meant to hype up specifically the release of Metroid Prime 4, ultimately the Prime Trilogy makes the most sense to me because you get the full story, the full experience of all three games as the visuals and the controls and the gameplay and the story progressed from 1 to 2 to 3 so that folks can get caught up going into Metroid Prime 4. However, if they're less worried about, you know, using these old games to hype up Prime 4 and they instead just want to celebrate the 20th anniversary of the Prime name, then the better option is the full-blown remake of Metroid Prime 1. And then we can factor in, you know, Nate saying that maybe they're doing basically a bit of both. A full remake of Prime 1, and then just HD ports of 2 and 3, and releasing them all as separate packages. So maybe even Metroid Prime 1 would get a full $60 retail kind of release because it's a full remake, but then maybe Primes 2 and 3 being ported only in HD would be sold for like 20 bucks a piece on the eShop or something like that, you know. I'm just kind of making that up and spitballing ideas, but that's a way I could see them sort of compromising and meeting in the middle and appeasing all fans who want all of these different things to happen. They could kind of pull from all the different options and do something like that. And I guess, yeah, I'd, I'd be pretty much really okay with that. I've referenced this before when talking about the concept of remaking the original Metroid Prime in some sort of ambitious effort, the way Nate talks about it. I've referenced Milky Max incredible Unreal Engine 4 demo of Metroid Prime that he made a couple of years ago. And I've, again, I've referenced it and discussed it on a couple of different videos. It's a lot of fun. He said that it's not something that has any controls. You can't fire the arm cannon. You can't go into Morph Ball. But he remade an area from the Talon Overworld in that engine, and it looks absolutely stunning. And so to me, when I think of a full remake of Metroid Prime, I think of something veering in this direction. 
I'm not saying it would look this good or not, or maybe it would even look better, I don't know. But this, to me, is remaking a game visually, as opposed to, like, if you look at the Metroid Prime games running on a Dolphin emulator, then you're just seeing them with an HD polish. And they still look very good, don't get me wrong, but I don't think it's as impressive as a remake. You could meet in the middle and maybe you could bump up some textures and some lighting effects and stuff and, and make it an HD remaster that does improve some elements of the game, but not going into full remake territory. It's very tricky, but it's all very exciting. And um, the only thing I'll say to kind of wrap this up, you know, this kind of little bit of a news story here or rumor, I should say, is just reminding you that the only thing I've ever heard over the years is the Metroid Prime Trilogy HD remaster. Suddenly, an actual story from Emily and from Nate talking about maybe an ambitious remake of the original Metroid Prime only, that changes the game. And like I said, if I was gonna pick, just because I know the Prime Trilogy game so well, I'd rather remake my, my favorite game of all time and see what that's like than just get an HD port of the first three games. But ultimately, there's no wrong answer for me. I mean, I'm going to be happy with either. And I think the Prime Trilogy would achieve an effect of hyping up Metroid Prime 4, absolutely. So, so this is these are the quotes. This is what all these folks have to say. You've heard my opinion and breakdown as a Metroid super fan. And somebody whose favorite video game ever made is the original Metroid Prime. The concept of a remake of that game is very cool to me. So, I guess we'll wait and see if anything's happening. I mean... Yes, 2021 is the 35th anniversary of the Metroid series, but next year is the 20th anniversary of Metroid Prime 1. And with Prime 4 somewhere on the horizon, maybe they are doing something kind of cool and out of left field like this. So only time will tell. Maybe nothing happens. Maybe everything happens. Who knows? But this is what's going on and what I think. Share your own thoughts about this below. And with that, this video is a wrap. Thanks, of course, as always, for tuning in, guys. This is Rob of Rule of Two Review, and I'll catch you next time on another video.